Well, 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 what do we have here? Well, today's another great day. It's beautiful out here in California right now. It's like 75 or 6, 8. I'm fat, so I'm still hot. But I shouldn't complain because yesterday, I think it was 90 yesterday. So uh, 20 degree, 15, 20 degree swing overnight. Go figure. Today I want to do a video and show you guys a one-step touchless soap that I've never tried. thought I'd give it a whirl. And that is wash cams. Um, so I, I did my uh, bed liner back here. I wanted it to dry out fast before the video started. No dice. So of course it's cooler. <sighs> of course. When you want something to happen, it won't. But let's take a look at it real quick. This back here was washed. No brushes, no mitts. Just foaming the soap on and rinsing. And at the back of the foot, uh, fender wells is where the line is. I know you don't believe me because you didn't see me do it. But you can definitely tell... A difference here versus up there right please tell me you can see that so anyway guys look um, my pooch is out here my shop manager so I don't want to do the whole truck I want to show you guys this is like bird droppings not coming off leaves we're gonna do this side right here more bird droppings uh, the truck's hammered in my eyes. This is ha ha hammered ha hammer hammer time. Anyway, look I don't think you can see that on white. You'll just have to take my word for it But yeah bird padukey do and then look across that roof This is the rest of the truck too. So look See how dirty that is Hopefully I'm focusing on that. I have no idea if I did This would be a good panel to hit with all the bird poo here too. And then, yes, Doug, you're scratching your paint. Yeah, I know, look. See how dirty that is? Come on now, tell me you're seeing that. That's horrific. Anyway, Tucker, good boy. Shop manager's out here. And I don't want old boy to get washed with the high pH soap. So this is my first shot at this. I did my engine bay, turned out great. The uh, bed liner, to me it looks better. That's what I'm gonna use on the bed liner. Uh, so we're just going to do this side of the truck, see how it turns out, and I believe if I read it right, they recommend 2500 PSI, if I'm not mistaken, on this soap, but uh, <clears throat> I'm going to use my new Active 2.0. That little machine right there is a beast. It's like 1150, 1170 PSI at the nozzle. It's rated at 1800, two gallons a minute, and I think when it's tested, literally it's like... 195 at the nozzle so it's like the most impressive consumer or prosumer um pressure washer on the market that i've seen there's some out there close oh and by the way since we're talking about the active 2.0 click the link in the description and i can save you some money on that machine it's about 350 360 um these guys have come a long way and they're kicking butt um and the life cycle or duty cycles of this is double the VE52. I know you know what the VE52 is, or the CAT, that machine over there in the corner. Pa -pa -da -da. That's 100 hours uh, projected uh, life cycle, right? 100 hours of use. This one's 200. They doubled it. Uh, and I do say my first use of this one, that's a lot quieter than the other one. Um, I'm in love with it. Anyway, let's get to this side and see what happens, okay? This is a touchless one-step. I believe this is Wash Kim's Pro 50. Super great guys over there. I'm just going to say it. I reached out to him like, hey, dude, I'm going to affiliate with some of your competitors. What do you think? Kind of like, huh? Come again? Hey, I'm not going to uh, slander these guys straight up. They said, hey, let's see what you do. Send me some videos, whatever. I reached back out, they said, yeah, try it out, here you go. So thank you very much. Let's see what it is, see what it's all about, see if you guys like it. Leave a comment down below, share this video, like this video, get notifications on the channel, and I will be posting weekly. You know that if you've been following me longer than about two seconds. Brad, love the cup, thank you. Hey, let's get to this. All right, this machine is um, pretty quiet, but I want to place you down here because I do get some complaints. Dude, get away from the pressure washer. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. So I'm just going to leave you here. 
Gonna be a little bit of dead air, boring air, but totally did. All right, I'm gonna foam her down and see what happens. Let's go. Oh. One to two minute dwell time on this soap. So while it's dripping the dirty goodness onto the uh, concrete, I'll take you over and show you. So stand by. Let the countdown begin. Woo! Good boy. Good boy. Got the dwellage going on. Yeah. This is Wash Kim's Pro 50. I wish the Pepsi bottles had a mouth that big on them instead of a mouth that big on them. Good Lord. Pretty inviting to drink. Wide open, breathable, but do not drink it. Thank you. Unless you're a cyborg, and then don't think it'll matter. Honk tuck. Honk tuck truck. All right, buggy. Let's check this out. You can see some of that nasty goodness running off that lens. Uh-huh. It's working on that tire. Can you see it? Shabada. Of course, my truck's not that dirty to most people, but to me, this is ha hammered. Ha hammered. There's some icky goodness. Look at that. Stand by, buddy. All right. <clears throat> my puppy's telling me all about it. <laughs> yes, he rules the roost. Check that out. Check out all that grimage. So dual time on this is uh, key, but let's just rinse. It's probably only been about 45 seconds, but let's do it. Bottom up rinsing, don't start the hate. You have to do that to mark where your last pass was with the touchless soap. Here we go. All right, there you go. So what I'm gonna do now is the old Baba Booski trick here. <clears throat> hey, good boy. I'm gonna grab a white rag. Let's see here. All right, sorry about the chest shot there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And just wipe this paint and see how clean or dirty it might be.
This is not a quality microfiber, so go ahead and begin cringing now. If you see any dirt on there, let me know. I see zero. Pretty impressive. The ratio I put it in this cannon, I don't even know what it is. I put like four ounces roughly in this cannon, a little more than 10 to one. Probably do a better job with heavier grease and a heavier soiled panel, uh, maybe with those bird droppings, because it didn't get the bird dropping all the way off. There's still one here. Could be dwell time. Still one here. But the rest of the panel looks really good, okay? So I'm sure there's something I'm doing, but I always like to blend or, yeah, mix um, light. Then I know where to go. And I always like to try and stretch chemicals because these things aren't cheap. Check out uh, washchems.com. Um, I don't want to misquote, but this is quite expensive for a gallon or for a five gallon. However, if it speeds up your wash process, especially you mobile guys, it's definitely worth a look. Also, a little more PSI and probably a hair more flow, like 3,000 PSI, three and a half gallons per minute. Would also do a better job. Hey, you gonna eat my box? Box or eat my box? Hey, what is that, bud? Hey, you like the 2.0? Huh? Like the active? Uh huh. Of course he does. He's a boxer. He's a puppy. He likes anything. <laughs> so, guys, check it out. I don't know if this is for you or not for you. Um, my first few uses, I've tried it on a couple things. It works and it works great. I have no issue with how effective it is. A um, little tricky, I think, on the rinsing. It seems to adhere, stick, cling to the panel more than the other systems that I've used. It made me a little nervous at first. I thought it was gonna be hard to rinse, but it wasn't, it came, came off clean. Let's see. Yeah squeaky clean as they say so i am impressed guys this is something definitely you may want to use with a lighter foam cannon something that's smaller uh for your engine bays your wheels and tires paint too i mean if, if you like it for that use it for that but i could definitely see keeping this pre-mixed so that you could use a smaller foam cannon just for your tires and wheels and engine bays something like this mckillen's it's a lot lighter than the bigger um cannons so keep it pre-mixed in that just to speed up your degreasing tires and wheels engine base. And looks like old shop manager here is eating the cardboard box. Is that delicious or what? Hey bud, hey, ding bat. You need a bone, huh? All right. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming along and seeing Tucker. He's my shop manager, I love that guy. Full of energy, man. Um, so there you have it, my initial impressions of Wash Kim's Pro 50. Good, effective, one step, very convenient, very easy. I was a little nervous on the rinsability. Don't be shocked by it, it will rinse clean. Here's another look at it on the dirty panel. If you liked what you saw here, check them out. Email them, talk to them on Instagram, Wash Kim's, and um, they will help you out. I got to them in one day, got an answer back. The package was melted like three days later. So solid customer service. So far as I can tell, solid product. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.